Good afternoon. We are currently in Wilcox, Arizona at the Pillsbury Wine Company, which is a harvest host here just a little bit south of I-10. Uh, of Wilcox. That's still considered Wilcox. Right, correct. Yeah. So we came in here from Las Cruces this morning, and if you didn't see that video, I will make sure I link that up above. So we got in probably about noon today. Yeah, it was a short travel day. Right, it wasn't bad at all. And we've already gone in and uh, had a tasting. So if we're stumbling through this a little bit, <laughs> you will know why. <laughs> but we really enjoyed our tasting. There wasn't anything we really like, didn't like at all. All of it was really good. Exactly. Our um, hostess was, I think her name was Bridget, and she was really good. She was fun and... Um, informative yeah. right so. and i did not realize that the whole wilcox arizona wine trail was out here yeah there's at least what three or four wineries yeah, that's what she said and area. when you first turn on this road to get here it says that there is like there was either three or four on this road so we didn't know that either so right and my geography is <laughs> obviously Worse than what I thought, because we left Las Cruces this morning. We were 4,000 feet, thereabouts, a little over. Thinking we'd be coming down. Yeah, so I was thinking coming through New Mexico, heading towards Arizona, yeah, the elevation would start to drop. So we're, we're here in Wilcox. We're still surrounded by mountains, and I think we're about 4,100 feet, something like that. Mm -hmm. And I just looked to see what the weather was, and it is 50 degrees. Sunny out, as you can clearly tell, mm -hmm. but there's not hardly wind, so it feels so much warmer than what Las Cruces is. It had quite a bit of wind, and which then just seemed colder. So, yeah, I, I'm really enjoying it. It's like when you just sit out here and sunbathe. <laughs> yeah, and I've never been like on that I 10 corridor down on the south end, like New Mexico and Arizona, and just kind of amazed because we crossed over into Arizona. And from at that point, you could see snow-capped mountains. Yeah. <laughs> Not we what... weren't expecting this many mountains everywhere. It's um, we thought. I think we thought it was going to be flatter, didn't you? Exactly. So... Yeah. I, I assumed once we hit Arizona, we'd just be down in the bottoms and be desert, and yeah. but definitely not the case. But so but... we're assuming tomorrow when we travel on to Yuma, that it will be. Uh, We'll be coming down up out of it because I think it's a lot lower. Isn't right, it? we're we're only about eighty miles or so from Tucson, uh, and I believe Tucson's down further. Down I, in the valley. I, I believe. <laughs> but right now, where we're at, we are surrounded by mountains, and I I just call this the wine valley because of all of the wine wineries around here. But yeah, it is so calm. It is very peaceful here. And the dog is loving it. However, he's not liking that there's no grass. He doesn't quite understand. Where's the grass so that he can go to the bathroom? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He does not understand that he uh, can poop on the dirt. <laughs> Hasn't figured out that concept yet. He kind of runs around panic whenever he has to go because he's trying to find some grass to go in. Yeah, that he hasn't found yet. So, poor guy. So, tomorrow we are headed out of here and headed on into... Yuma area. So up early in the morning and head further west.
Good evening. We have made it to the spot that we will be at for the next about two and a half weeks. We've actually been here now for about a week and a half, and so far it's been pretty nice. We are at Imperial Dam LTVA, about 20, 25 miles north of Yuma, right over on the California side. And if you're not familiar with what an LTVA is, it stands for Long-Term Visitor Area. And it is an area that is within the BLM system. However, there are fees and some special things that apply there. Um, the fees are relatively low. It's $180 if you want to spend the entire, I think it's seven month uh, season. But for what we're doing, we're here and paying $40 for two weeks. Actually, it'll be $80 for the four weeks we're here. Um, and what that gives you is you don't have to worry about the typical 14-day limit like you do on normal BLM land. And here you also have a freshwater fill, you have dumpsters, and you have a dump station, which is wonderful. And if you're interested in it, the permit will actually transfer and you can go to any of the LTVAs in the area. So this whole LTVA experience is very new to us. And it's kind of strange because you come out here and you just drive around and find a spot. And there are boundaries for the LTVA area, so you have to stay within those. But other than that, it's pretty much free game, but it's just kind of weird and you don't really know what the unofficial rules are. Uh, so we lucked out and found a pretty nice site. And I don't know if somebody had just left here. To be honest with you, if somebody came along right now and said that we had to leave and we weren't supposed to be here, I wouldn't be surprised. But we, yeah, we just kind of drove around. It's like, well, that looks good. And so far it's been wonderful. It's a huge area. All the big rocks have been kicked out and made a boundary. It's actually kind of neat. One thing that we figured out really quick was that the wind here can be awful. I had seen warnings online, but I didn't really quite realize how bad it could be. When we first got in, we had to dump our tanks, and I'm trying to do that as the tote with all of our hoses and stuff is sliding across the ground. I'm chasing after it. We get to the site, we're setting up, things are blowing everywhere. It was just a mess. However, on the bright side, I quickly realized that I wasn't the only jackass out here. That's right, there are wild burrows walking around and there are some walking right by our campsite. And I guarantee that's the first time we've ever seen that while camping. The wind stuck around for a couple days, let up for one day, and then we had a heck of a wind slash dust storm there towards the middle of the week. All in all, really can't complain though. This has been a really nice day so far. The high temperatures have been sitting in, the first week they set in the mid 60s or so this week they've been to the low mid 70s which has been great especially since back home they're sitting at about the zero mark this week so definitely feel bad for them but so glad that we are here so i'm probably going to wrap this one up right here we have quite a bit of activities planned in this area while we're still here so make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss any of those i hope you've enjoyed this video and we will see you in the next one